Hi guys, another episode of my charity shop, Gold or Garbage. Spotted this box in my local charity shop. That's £1.50. No idea how much they'd be normally. Um, it's not in perfect condition, a little bit ropey around the edges. Haven't opened it fully yet to see what's inside. But if there's even half the stuff in there, it's probably worth buying. It's one of these electronic kits where you can make various things. And they're in plug, plug format, plug and play format as it says on the box. FM radio, flying discs, snap together components, burglar alarm, lie detector. see what's inside. Well, that's always a good start. A set of instructions. It says for age 8 plus so that'll be a bit beyond my younger grandchildren, but the oldest one should be alright with it. Oh, you even got a free pen. <laughs> certainly got some bits and pieces. A couple of batteries there. Don't whether they're much good. motor, battery box, I think what we're going to have to do is assemble something and see if we can make it work. It certainly looks like fun. to look through the instructions. Just all the different bits. List of all the different experiments you can do. It starts off with some very simple experiments. Making a simple circuit. Powering the motor and fan, that looks like about the simplest one to start with. So a quick scan through. There we are, got one with a transistor in it. Lighting an LED, light sensitive LED with NPN transistor. Should we do that one or that one? Let's just do that one. That doesn't look like it needs many bits. Batteries, battery assemblies, how do these fit together? Let's see, put a little clip together. Electric motor. Connect. 
filter. We need a switch. Looks like a switch. Connectors. Okay, looks like we've actually lost the fan, but at least we'll still be able to see the motor turn if the motor works. Wonder if these batteries are any good. Right, not a lot happening there. Let's try some other batteries. There we go. My first electric circuit built with the kit. Can't complain about that, so that worked. Right, I've just gone through the box and checked which components are there. And the only thing that I can find missing is the plastic spinner. Other than that, everything else is there, so I think we can live with that. Let's see what we can uh, make. Just because I want to be a little bit complicated. Let's see if we can make light sensitive LED with NPN transistor. jumping straight into the middle. Okay, here's our board. Better turn the camera over. There we go. So got our board. First thing we want is the batteries. Okay. We need the switch, it's going to go there. We need a three way connector, that there. We need that fella, to go just there. And we need a LED, number 26. Oh, there we are. I've actually arranged all these in numerical order so I can find them quicker. Number 16 is the photosensitive resistor. Uh, I see, we need a, one of those little chaps underneath it just to lift it up. We need another one just there. And a two way connector. And then a two-way connector over there. Okay, so what happens? Switch it on, nothing. Cover. I wonder if it needs light or shade. It needs light. Obviously more light than I've got. I'll go and find a torch or something. This torch is strong enough. 
And even if it is, you wouldn't see whether the LED comes on, would you? Hmm. Okay. What can we put instead? Ah, I see what I've done wrong. We are missing a piece. I picked that up thinking it was an, the NPN transistor, and it's not. That's part number 50, and we actually want part number 52, and we have a gap. 50, 51, 53, so we're missing the NPN transistor. That's a shame. Okay, so we'll have to make something else. So then it goes PNP instead. There we go, that one does PNP. Virtually the same circuit. Stick him there. Just use the red LED this time. Don't think that really makes a lot of difference. Need a three way connector on this side. What have I done? And there. Photo cell there. Oh, yes. I think I'll need to bring that a bit closer to the camera. Okay, our LEDs are light. Cover over the photo cell and it dims. Just about see that. And I can see the next diagram it shows us how to make it dark sensitive rather than light sensitive. And all we do is shift that. to there. Oh, we need a resistor there, number 33 it says. 32, 33. Oh yes, so that one turns on when it goes dark. Bring that up again. Well, I think that's enough experimenting to show that we can actually use this kit. Shame that one piece is missing. I can probably get round that by actually making up making one up myself. But uh, there we go. So charity shop, gold or garbage. All the bits were there apart from one, and that doesn't stop us making um, circuits up. So I've got to say, for £1.50, that is Charity Shop Gold. Well, just thought I'd do um, one of the more difficult ones here, which is an FM radio. And it works. That was fun.